Mac and his allies are taken a beating. Down there in the dust they lay, while their enemies scampered away, hurt, wounded. Nat Cobbs and Ruka lay there, defeated, their pride hurt, their hopes slashed. Sadnil took it upon himself to put the worst of them to bed and to run to the way station to buy essential supplies. More sleeping bags and more food, as well as a robotic repair kit, were essential. Ruka was the first to stand, not knowing where Sadnil and Wolf had gone, but assuming for help. She tended to herself and Hobbs for their wounds that hadn't been already patched by Sadnil. Shortly after, Hobbs awoke, and not liking their circumstances, they packed up and moved across to a safer place overshadowed by a small hill. There they felt safe. Said Neil, using some of the remaining coins they had, decided to use the skeleton repair kit in the nearby way station. It was expensive, but he didn't really have a grasp of money. He lived hundreds and hundreds of years, and he saw money as a pointless thing to hold on to anyway. But by doing this, he fixed himself up quicker than he would have been able to before, and that allowed him to rush back and meet up with the others. From there, Sad Neil set up the other sleeping bag allowing both Ruka and Hobbs to rest. Nack was finally awake at this point. He'd been a long time out cold, but he knew what they had to do next. Over the next few days, they took on any enemy they could find, strengthening their resolve, their strength, and their combat prowess. They weren't very successful most of the time. Even taking on a single bull, they struggled, and both Ruka and Hobbs eventually fell to the beast. It was only Nack with his crossbow who was able to take it out at the end of the day. Between Nack and Sadnil, they both managed to patch them up and take them back to base to rest up. Over the course of a week or so, they did this, rinse and repeat, heal, fight, heal, to toughen themselves up. And along the way, they took advantage of skirmishes and death all around them for some easy loot. What they did wasn't always ethical. They sometimes beat the ones already down, but it was all useful experience for them. Over time, they found specialist equipment. Nack found a better crossbow, a specialist one from one of the poachers. However, their times weren't always very successful. On one trip back to a way station, Nack and Ruka got into a fight with a bunch of hungry bandits, and both fell. Nack ended up losing a limb during that fight. He was never meant to get as close as he did, but he was foolish, and in the process lost an arm. Sadnil knew what he had to do. As the only member of the team that wasn't injured, he ran to the skeleton city to find a prosthetic limb for Nack. However, when he got there and realised that he, they didn't have enough cats, he took upon stealing to make up the cats needed. He ran back between there and the way station, selling what he could, all the while levelling up his strength and his athletics in the process. After doing that, they had plenty of cats to purchase the prosthetic limb. However, upon his return, they had already sold the masterwork one that Nessad Neil had been eyeing up. Instead, he bought a high quality one. It wasn't the best, but it would do for Nack. Once they were all back together, Nack attached his prosthetic limb. It felt strange, but at the same time, it felt better than he had before. He felt ready to take on the world, take on new challenges. But it was clear that their group wasn't big enough. They needed more allies, more friends, to help on their quest. And that is where we find our heroes now. Hello my fellow spuds and welcome back to another episode of Kenshi. So, we have been pretty busy actually, off camera. I was hoping to get a lot more training done, however, with a uh, Nax, I say limb impediment. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we didn't do a huge amount. We've got our toughness up with most of them a bit. So, like, Ruka's at level 20 toughness, Nack and Hobbs are at 15, Sadnil's at 13, but I think the, mo the best thing is that their athletics has all gone really up. Sadnil especially, at 42, is great. His strength has gone up a little bit, nearly up to level 7, which is exciting. We got so lucky finding, uh, finding what we did. A Grief Wraith have basically taken out a bunch of poachers and also then gone on to attack some starving bandits. In the process, wiped out all of the poachers bar a couple that you saw in the intro and like one starving bandit that Hobbs ended up taking out at the end. But in doing so, we got so much loot and we're also able to loot the Grief Wraith. Those of you who don't know, Grief Wraith is a, is a modded creature, which I believe was actually in the original Kenshi files, but it's basically a huge skin spider. So they're, they're huge, they're massive. They can easily wipe out whole squads of people. They're just amazingly strong. However, between taking on so many enemies i think it took out a handful of bulls it took out the poachers and it took out these starving bandits it finally succumbed to blood loss in which case we were able to loot it and each of its horns sells for 1500 cats so in that sense we were able to get a lot of cats so we've now got 25,000 cats which is pretty good that's that's more than we started off with last episode so i think what we'll do is we're going to send knack in here and we're going to see if we can get any more recruits hello Need some walls built, brother? I can handle them for you. How much are you charging? 6,000 cats. 
Right, here we go. We've added a Scorchlander to our team. We've got old Joe. Right, come on, old Joe. You're coming out here. All right, so what are you good at? You're an amazing engineer. That's great, actually, because we're going to need an engineer going forward. I'm thinking what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make a separate squad. Right, so we'll call this one uh, Home Squad. There we go. We're going to chuck old Joe down here. Put next team for the time being. However, if you've got any, any suggestions, just let me know and I will change that next week's episode, basically. So we've now got two teams. We've got old Joe and we've got Nax team. Let's go back in here with old Joe, see if there's anyone else that we could uh, potentially get. Who are you? Top. Top the Drifter. 7,500 cats. How good are you at sword fighting? Oh, back already. Change of plan. You're hired. 5,500. So he's just gone down to 5,500 after that. Fine. Okay, let's, let's get him. We've got Top. Actually, he's not that bad. He's got 10 across the board and 15 athletics. I will keep him in the home squad just so that they've got a bit of backup. There we go. Right. We've got a few more. So my plan for this episode basically is we're going to do a few different bits. I'm going to get Old Joe and Top to go back to Squin. We are going to buy a house there or start working on mining to get us money to be able to afford something. That's the plan. They are going to be our home squad. They are going to basically just keep mining. They're going to be our economy for the moment. They're going to keep mining some iron for the time being near Squin. And they're going to keep doing runs back and forward and basically get us some money, which will be nice. And also do some research and bits like that. The rest of you... We need to build up our rosters. We just do not have enough people with us. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to have to go do a little bit more exploring. We'll go back to the hub for the time being. We'll see if there's any more recruits around there. And after that, we will see where we need to go. There's a few different places we can go. And I know of a few different recruits that we can get. Nak also knows of a place where there's potential enemies. They're terrifying, awful people, but they're weak. Hivers who have turned, Hivers who have developed a disease. They're no longer Hivers bound to a hive. They are fogmen. But there's rumours of a city in the fog. And if they can get to that city, it might be a safe bet to slowly take out more of these fogmen. To level themselves up and potentially find new recruits. Once again, our intrepid explorers find themselves at the hub. That goes into the bar. Now, it doesn't look like we've got many recruits in here. Uh, let's see what the bar barkeep's got. Hello, barkeep. Oh, we've got some of these uh, research things I was meant to go through as well. To, uh, that's get the containers. Market stalls and tents. That sounds quite good. And we will grab some food as well. There we go. Right. So what you do with this research is it says you need to research bench level two. If you right click this, it will just, you'll just basically complete the research. And this unlocks research so you can then either get straight away or you then research it later on. That's good. We've got that. We've got a bit of food. I think what we now need to do is... Let's go... Uh, we could go to a high village, see if they've got any recruits there. Otherwise, it's going to have to be a little trek to the Foglands, which is going to be a little bit terrifying. But we can uh, we can endeavour to go. Right, let's go to the high village first. It's a step along the way. I am worried about their, uh, their speed. Fogmen are quite quick, if I remember correctly. So we kind of all want to be running at about 20. Sadniel and Nak are probably... Probably that, or they are there already. However, the others, not so much. The other two, you are here. Um, we're going to want to buy a place. We could buy a longhouse for 7,200 and then do it up, I guess. That might be a better way of doing it. Sure, sold. Right, this is ours now. Building purchased. How much do we need to actually build it up? Oh, Joe, give it to me. How many? Oh, God. 15 more building materials. Right, okay. Um, right, both of you go in here, see if you can buy 15. Hopefully they've got enough. If not, we're going to have to probably do some little trips back and forth to that tiny settlement. Oh, they got nine. That's no good. You build that. Okay, well, that's that's six. We'll get the other three, and then we'll just need to work up from there. What the hell is going on here? Um, I leave you for five seconds. All right, get here, all of you. Wolf, what are you doing? Okay, they will die. This is probably easy target practice, especially for Knack. Knack, you take them out. Right, you all get out of the way. Okay, right. This is the potential for lots and lots of loot. They're taking on the beak things. Quickly, sad Neil, loot what you can. Like, that's a that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, wolf, no. Don't eat him alive. Naughty wolf. Right, and Ruka. Wolf, stop eating everyone alive. You... Oh, you idiot. Right, fine. All of you, come away. Knack, I need you to keep firing at that thing. Wolf, I need you to stay away from the dead things as much as possible, really. Uh, Ruka, go loot that. 
Oh god, this, this is a struggle. That's not too bad, I guess. We've got basically everything. Knack, you've got you've got our arm back. Congratulations. <laughs> we'll just we'll just shove it back on. That'll be fine. Right. Okay. That's um. That's out over here. And wolf, don't eat any of the corpses. Naughty wolf. Not meant to be eating the corpses. Well, they're not even corpses. They were alive. Uh, actually, you know what? Just to save doing it again. Sad Neil, pick up wolf. You're uh. You're not going to cause any problems, wolf. While we're here. Right. Okay. Let's go trade with the hivers. Human. Trade with me, human. I mean, what you got? Let's trade all the animal skins. Not really ready to deal with that yet. There we go. Okay, we got 12,000 cats again. That's pretty good. Generator cores. Look how heavy they are. That would be good for leveling up strength. Standard grade. We wanted a leather. It's all, they're all not very good, are they? We could buy the blueprint, then we could start making some, I guess. Sure. Let's just get it. Um, we got the chain skirts. Uh, a book following to create hiver armor. Oh, do we need some of them then? We'll buy a few of them. Could we buy a few of these? There we go. We can we can loot back via Squin and chuck them on for the others. That'll do, I think. Right, that's quite a lot of food we've got. We're going to need to cook that up eventually. But in the meantime, maybe we should go to the next hive village? Yeah. There might be some more stuff. So how fast are you all running? Sad Neil, put Wolf down. Then we can all run a lot faster. We're going to the hive village. We're close to the hive here. I hate nothing more than visiting the hives. It's home, isn't it? You don't miss it. Seeing the mindless drones at work bring back bad memories. That's right, Nat. That's right. Oh, we've actually discovered another hive village. Um, Okay, let's go up to that one then, because that's a little bit closer. What I'm thinking is we might actually just send most of them back to home squad. After that, what we'll do is probably send a small squad, maybe just Nat and Sad Neil, into the Foglands, just for the time being. At that point, what we can then do is look and see if there's any more recruits. We can scout the area. Get their skills up a little bit more. Sad Neil's potentially, well, more safe than the others because the Fogmen won't try and eat him because he's made of, well, steel and various other things. And Knack is a lot quicker than the others. So between the two of them, they should be all right. That's trade in the tradition of humans. Here we go. Right. So what do we want from them? We wanted uh, three. That should be all we really need right now. It might be good to have a couple of spare just in case we need to build anything else. We could probably do some iron plates, to be honest. We don't really have the space. Uh, we could just trade that. I don't think we need that anymore. Fine, let's just buy all of them. Right, we need to research this. There we go. So, Knack and Sad Neil, you're going over that way. You lot, you are going back to Squin. You're going to meet up with the others. Okay, now you two, you've got a big quest where you're going to go to the Fog Islands. I'm tempted to go over here just because of about that quest the guy said before wherever it was from the way station he said there was a shipyard this way really tempted to have a look should i i might as well while we're here uh so where was it the way station so we'll try down here first and at that point we'll go up the coast we'll then go into the fog islands we'll see if we can find this city see if we can find any more recruits and at that point i think we'll be good see them when they get to their respective places Right, the team seem to have discovered an unknown object. Don't know what that is. Should we go investigate what this unknown object is? Oh, is it that by any chance? Uh, can we even get in there? I don't think we can. Fallen Tower. Right, okay, let's go. Let's keep going. We're going to where we're going. Right, how are you lot doing? Oh, you're nearly there. You're basic squint already. Oh, nice. I discovered another hive village. Interesting. Okay, we're not really interested in the Hive Village. We want to go along the coast, see if we can find the shipyard. Um, I'm not obviously probably not going to be able to do anything with this because it sounded like it took out a whole squad, whatever the thing was that killed everyone. But it'll be good to scout it out just to know where this place is when we want to go to it. It might have a legendary weapon or something there, who knows. There is a mod I've added which is called Legendary Weapons, which adds these amazing weapons that you can only find through like quests like we've just seen and like little hints and tips that they give throughout the world. There's no guidance from the actual mod itself, but it's like the only way you can actually find stuff is just through exploring and talking to people. So I'm hoping that's what that means, that there might be a Legendary Weapon this way, or at least the first clue to one. But we will, we will see, see what we find. Here we go, here we go. So we are in Squin, finally add building materials and then after that this should be done we should have a nice house at that point discovered ruins okay ruins could be good um oh god hundreds of blood spiders 
Uh, what is actually here? Lots of damaged books and a few building materials, a few other random bits. Okay, uh, both of you, no, we're going to want to just go straight across to here. Don't even risk going that way. We will just die. <laughs> Don't want to die to blood spires. Not a nice way to go. Right, excellent stuff. It's done. Right, everyone in. In and into our new home. I've got a damaged book and a cup. That's really helpful, isn't it? Okay, we're, we're going to want to put down some basic stuff then. Small research bench would be nice. Uh, just to get that over and done with. Right there. I'll do. And then we'll put down some sleeping bags. Because we've got a couple just the time being there and there. Right, metal chest. Um, that there for the time being. Do we have anything like cooking wise? We've only got a campfire. Right, let's put the campfire down there. There we go. Uh, we need all of that on you. There we go. And that means they should just get straight on to building because I've set them to engineer. So everything should just be built now, which is nice. Ah, it looks like something's over there. Is that the shipyard? That looks like a potential shipyard. Okay, right. We'll get you to sneak. We'll get over there. We'll see what this place is. Right. We'll have a little sneaky peek. See what um, see what's around here. There's not as any enemies actually inside. That's uh, can we pick lock? I'm not skilled enough. Oh, okay. What is Nax lock picking? I thought it was fairly high. No, it's 19. And he's still not high enough. Okay. Fine. Well, we know it's here now. That's good. So I think what we should do then is head on to the Fog Islands. I think the city is here. Let's go see if we can find any new recruits in the land of the fog. Nack and Sadnil run through vain. They're running to the Foglands, a place that gives Hivers nightmares. The stories told of that place are horrendous. Lost ones, infected by parasites, that lose all sense of self, all sense of being, and turn instead to an insatiable hunger for flesh. Nack wishes he could go anywhere but there, but he needs to follow up every lead. And there's one such story of a Hiver who escaped into the Foglands. An incredible hero, a god amongst Hivers, the stories of which have been passed down between all races, Hiver as strong as a Shek, as tough as a skeleton. Only time will tell if he is what the legends say. Okay, looks like the shop's open again, so let's see if they've got any more building materials so that we can finish off this research bench and finally get stuck into some research. That'd be great if we can. They do not. Or we could potentially just send them to the way station, actually. Why didn't I do that? Ruka, you're going to go to this way station. Just get what building materials you can, and then we'll go from there. Right, we've made it to Dreg, the last stop before the fog lands. The last high village before the fog islands. Nak takes one last look before pressing on. They don't have the cats to spare on anything else, and they don't have the capacity to weigh them down when they go in there. They do not want to be caught by the fogmen. Right, Ruka and Wolf have made it, so let's go grab some bits and bobs from here then. Hello. Yes, we want to buy your best building materials, please. How many can we buy? A lot. Cool. That's fine. Uh, anything else that we can get? Okay. No, I think we're good. Right, Ruka, go back to a... Uh, go back to Hobbs and the gang. We need to give them all these building materials. 6, 12, 18. That's, that's a decent amount. That'll get us set up, basically. Should be able to get everything we need then. Oh, this does not look nice. We're just going straight into it. Oh, we discovered Mongrel. Okay, good. Right, we discovered it straight away. Excellent. Okay, uh, we just want to go straight to Mongrel. Now, there are hundreds and hundreds of Fogmen in this place. If we're extremely lucky, we'll get through without countering any of them. Uh, they are quite quick, which does worry me a little bit. Uh, Sad Neil is the thing slowing us down, annoyingly. It's just his athletics is just slow. Painfully slow. Okay, saying that straight away, we've come across Fogmen. That's not great. They can run at the same speed as us. Oh no, hang on, 21. Okay, they can run faster than us. Uh, come on, Sad Neil, just pick up the pace. Oh, we could fight them, I guess. It's only two. From is where you see two, there's most likely going to be more. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? Oh, that was that was terrifying. I, I don't know what that was, but it just took out a fog, man. Jesus, that was like some weird raptor. Never seen one of them before. <laughs> I think that's one mod I've got, and I completely forgot that I had it. Okay. Right, well, that's taking care of the Fogmen. Uh, but that's a new danger we need to look out for that I didn't really anticipate. Because <laughs> uh, Fogmen aren't that dangerous. Between a couple of them, you could easily take them on. I mean, Sadnil could probably solo both of them. But those raptors, they uh, they look scary. Right, where are we? Okay, we're really near Mongrel. Come on, we can get there. Come on, we can get there. Oh, Christ. 
Right, run, 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 run. Just keep going. Just keep going up to Mongrel. This is the path. Oh, we're so nearly there. Oh, they can run so much faster than us. Right, Nack's been hit, but he's all right. He's fine. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, I believe. Come on, we're at the gates. We're at the gates. It's a little bit more. Just get there. Just get to the gates. Okay, the guards are on us. The guards are on us. Right. Okay, Nat, stand there. Let's fight them. Sad Neil, take them out. Take them out. Go on, Sad Neil. This is good training. Take them all out. Okay, we're good. Right, Nack, you okay? Right. And we can get the fog drone heads. We can get them, and they are... Actually, the, the weapons aren't even... They sell as well. Okay. Uh, Sad Neil. Because all the fog stuff we get, we can sell. Sad Neil, I need you to loot all these people. I need you to get all the weapons. All the heads. And this will be a good enterprise for us. Shame there doesn't seem to be any princes amongst them, because princes are the ones that have the decent priced heads. Okay, but we're at Mongrel. The sad place in the middle of the Fog Islands. Not much here, but the people tend to be trapped. There's nothing really about. The living is basically made of uh, hunting the Fogmen and selling their heads. Not much else really goes on here. Speaking of which, let's go into here. Let's trade the Fog Heads that we've got. God, random bones that they use. That's terrifying. <laughs> okay, right, we got we got some cats. That's fine. Not much else there, though. Let's, uh, let's go into the bar. We're going to want to see if we can get any more recruits. Crumple John? You seem interesting. Who are you? Right, let's talk to Crumple John. Dare you engage with the might of the infinite wing-wang? Dare you? What do you mean? You want to fight? Infinite wing-wang is for hire, so hire him. Leap on this rare and valuable opportunity. You must. How much? Infinite Wing Wang is no small purchase for my feathered friend. Infinite Wing Wang costs a uh, hundred thousand cat and credits, no less. What? I could I could get ten Infinite Wing Wangs for that. Fakes, you don't want ten fake Infinite Wing Wangs. Why on earth would you do with them? Maybe I do. Very well. Ten thousand cats. How's that? Um, five thousand. You cannot afford the Infinite Wing Wang. It's sad for you. But I want you. I want you. I need ten thousand cats. Okay, so. That, that's my next step. I want to get him. He look. He seems awesome. Okay, looks like a fight's going on out here. Just there, actually. Um, Sad Neil, I need you to go out there. If there's any Fogmen heads, I need them. There are lots of Fogmen heads. Right, quickly run out and grab what you can. Because we need 10,000 to afford him. Oh, it looks like they're Fog Heavies as well. They should hopefully have uh, better heads. Right, let's go trade these. Hopefully that'll get us a decent amount of cats, and then hopefully we'll be able to get Crumple John. He seems interesting. Um, Nack, you need to mend your leg up a little bit. There we go. Uh, hopefully there's some more recruits in this place, though. It'd be good to get some more. That would be really nice if we can. Oh, we're literally just shy. Um, there we go, 10,000. Sad Neil, go talk to the Infinite Wing Wang. Oh, what? You're not Infinite Wing Wang. Are there two people sat on the same chair? Oh, no, there's Crumple John's there. This infinite wing wang. Join my squad. No. Why do they call you Crumple John? Because of my crumbling bones. That's enough questions now. Can you actually lift that weapon? No, go away. That's a really long beard. It's a source of my power. Stop pestering me. Join my squad. No. Why do they call you Crumple John? Leave me alone. Join my squad. Fine, I'll join your stupid squad. Yay! Oh, we've got Crumple John. Oh god, he's uh he is he's very crumpled. Right, and now infinite wing wang. Okay, ten thousand cats. Um five thousand? Deal. Oh, we only need 5,000. Is to dance on the spot like some sort of madman. Everyone is staring. We've got the infinite wing wang. Right. Well, our, our roster is now very much boosted. We've got Crumple John. Let's have a look at your stats. Jesus Christ, you're strong. Okay. Um, and you're amazing. We paid like a lot of money for someone who basically had like whatever his name, top. We paid the same amount. We paid like 7,000 cats or whatever it was. And you're better than him. Jesus, look at you. Right. An infinite wing wang. Oh, you're amazing as well. You're amazing with sabers. Melee attack is great. Athletics is good. Oh, you're both incredible. We've got you both. What have you? What weapons do you have? You've got a fragment axe. That's incredible. And you have a horse chopper. Okay, your armors aren't great. 
yours definitely isn't because it's you're acting like you're martial arts but you you're not beep oh this is the this is the hiver that the story is told of beep the famous beep um hi beep how did you know my name it's just a guess you must be some kind of genius then uh yes i am can i join you i want to become strong become a swordsman you don't look very strong you don't even have a weapon do you have any skills i have nothing they exile me from the hive just because you keep saying beep i am defective no good for the hive but beep doesn't give up beep is strong since i left the hive i can feel my mind changing the way i think i feel free having thoughts i never had before i want freedom but everywhere i go things try to kill me or chase me beep tires of running time to stab the things that chase me sigh another week nobody how much money do you want money i don't know what that means welcome to the team and we have beep right the tales of beep how good is he he is absolutely awful <laughs> okay the stories were wrong about beep he is a. Uh, he is just awful oh my god you're a you're a big someone aren't you jesus look at you you're huge Right, well, we've got a beep. We've got a beep. Look at you. A little tiny bug-eyed beep. <laughs> oh, Knack. Knack, you look a lot more normal than beep. Beep is a yeah, big head, small body. Yeah, okay. Fine. Um, right, well, our roster is definitely improved. Let's go to this other bar. We'll see if we've got anyone. We've got Crumple Drong, Infinite Wing Wang, and Beep. I think that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good combo already. Right, okay. Beep, you talk to them. See what they've got in here. Wanted wizard. It's a strange pole arm. Light black skeleton always seems in no seen in noble clothes. Wanted over mass murder, thievery, body mutilation, assassination, manslaughter, raiding, genocide, and destruction of property. Location is unknown. Oh my god, 75k. That's incredible. Do not attempt to apprehend alone. Jesus, 75k. Uh, we'll take that. That seems interesting. Uh, take some food for Beep. Uh, we'll take some for Sad Neil. We'll take some for Crumple John. Uh, tech hunters. Strike. Trying in this dead end town for what? Some puffed up tank hunter room with AI cores and CPU units? Well, goodbye, blue skies. Goodbye, sunlight. So long, desert breeze. Now there's the sound of fog to listen to instead. Listen to that. And there you've got yourself a few sleepless nights. And don't even get me started on the food. How much longer are, you, are the reserves going to last in this maroon island, eh? Ugh. Anyway, looks like you're one of us now. Welcome to the party. If you don't want to be a party people, don't talk about the fog. Or what's in it for that matter. Screeches and groans are enough as a reminder already. How long you been here? Too long. Don't tend to keep track of the days in this place, but I'd say a year or so now. Long enough to start feeling the mongrel. Crazy, at least. Why not leave? How about you leave with me? Well, you've got a nice-sized crowd following you, and you all make it here in one piece. That's something. But is it enough, I wonder? You grow silent, she fizzits with a scar on her hand. Ah, to the abyss with it. I might never have another chance. Ooh! Got another one! Drag me if you have to. Don't let me bail on this. Shrike. Okay, what are your stats? You're not bad. You're pretty good as well, actually. Nice. We've got a, we've got a good roster now. We've got loads of people. Right, look at all of them. We started off with two in this place, and look how many people we've got. Right, we've got Shrike, the second female. And uh, the second Scorchlander we've got. We've got Beep, the second Hiver we've got. We've got Crumple John and Infinite Wing Wang, who are just incredible incredible people <laughs> okay right i think that's pretty good and i think that's where i'm going to call it for today so thank you so much for watching everyone if you'd like with sim please leave a like and subscribe a massive thank you to all my patrons seth pet over chath drew clint david aaron dale mikhail emma de blarg rai Carlara, daniel len wolf aj andrew and mitch thank you so much guys you guys are just all amazing thank you so much next episode we're probably going to do a little bit more fogman hunting now that we've got a decent roster can actually take some of them on which will be nice uh we're going to probably make our way around a little bit more there's still a few more recruits i would like to get uh and we've all we've got quite like these are all really good fighters i mean apart from beep but beep beep can be improved beep can be improved upon and he's uh he's willing to fight he's willing to improve so we will uh we will see how he gets on but it'll be nice to get another skeleton or two. It'll be nice to get some more general recruits so we can add to the home roster. So yeah, I'm I'm really happy. We're doing really well. We've got a good sized unit, and uh, Nat couldn't be happier with the size that of his squad now. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye bye.